Shalom, we have here Devorah from Jerusalem. Devorah Gordon, who is famous for the new moon and the Aviv and many other things. Shalom, Devorah. Hey, Nehemia. Hey, Keith. Good to hey. see you both. Devorah, I was just in your land. I can't believe it. I missed you. <laughs> I heard. I heard. I'm just glad you had a good time here, I hope, and that you Very got good. home safely. Very good. So, yeah, wow. just got back. You're there with boots on the ground. What is going on in Jerusalem right now with the coronavirus? Yeah. So when did this all start? Was it a week ago, I think? It seems like forever. Um, but a lot has happened. Our Bibi Netanyahu, who is sort of our prime minister. It's, it's I don't so know if you're yeah, because... Let's not get into that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, so uh, he's been very fast uh, to act on this. Um, and right away he told people, right away he canceled school and, uh, and, and told people if you don't work in an essential job to the employers to send the people home. He's opened up a lot of money to help with people who are now going to be, who are on vacation from work. Um, and, uh, and so he's helping out financially. And he's just been great about that to try to uh, contain this. So unlike the U.S., Israel is on virtually a complete lockdown. So, so he yes. said in his speech that up until yesterday. now it's Han Chayot. Yeah, yesterday it was it was yeah. an advisory. Now yeah. it's a, it's an order. It's actually yeah. an order yeah. not to leave the house. Uh, yeah, you know, unless under special circumstances. Right. Um, yeah. So we're only allowed to leave the house if we are going shopping for food. We're going to the pharmacy, doctor. Um, if you know, really just essential things. Otherwise, we are expected to stay home. Look, what a lot of people are, want to hear about, I think, in this yeah. broadcast, is we've got the Aviv search coming up next week. Are you allowed yeah. to leave the, even allowed to leave the house for the Aviv search? Yes. Um, so that is questionable. Um, we are we are definitely planning on going. I've spoken to our team. Wait, We're stop, very stop, stop, stop. Wait, hold, hold, yeah. stop, 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 stop. So you're telling me that you have scheduled to go figure out what time it is according to scripture. You guys have done this. Right. And Netanyahu is saying everyone stay in the house for seven days. So so get, so seven, move out well, seven days from now. He said starting seven days. <laughs> so what yeah. I'm asking you, Deborah, is seven days yeah. from now, if, if 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 they say okay, you can go out, but if he doesn't, what what happens? Well, we're we need to go. I think we need to go out before the new moon, and the new moon is Wednesday night. So I want to go as close to then. So we're talking about less. How many than days seven. is that, Nehemiah? Count for me. It's I mean, less than. Five days Friday. from now, six days from now, yeah. Today's Friday. Friday so, yeah. so uh, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's five days from now. So wait. So I'm just, I want to be clear. So you're about going this. out within the initial seven-day lockdown. So you're telling us, Devorah, you're going to go out and check what time it is, and is that is that acceptable as a necessity? A necessity? I think so. We went out on March 15th, which, as you know, President Trump declared as prayer day for the coronavirus. Yes. And so, yeah, so that was the day we went out to look for Aviv. And what we found was, we found, uh, we found barley in uh, the flowering stage, which is a very early stage. And where can people find out more about what you found? Where is, where is this posted? And, and in the worm stage. And so we're very curious to know what it's going to be like right before the new moon. If it was further developed, maybe we would say, okay, there's no need, but it's not. And, um, and we haven't actually had a, if, if it had been sunny since then, we'd say, okay, it probably is more further along, but it's actually been raining a lot. It poured here today in Jerusalem. It's still raining down south. And we have no idea what state the barley's in and whether this will be, whether this will be the beginning of the new year. And so we really feel that we need to go down there. And where can um, people find out more information about what you found yeah. and what you're going to find? So I have a Facebook page called Devorah's Date Tree mm -hmm. um, from the book of Judges. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Devorah sat underneath the date tree. So um, that's what I called my page. Awesome. And there, there's a sign up button. They can subscribe to the mailing list. I send out our reports on the Facebook page and on the mailing list. So whatever is convenient for people. Now, mm -hmm. now one of the things Pre uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu said was that um, the police will enforce this um uh this lockdown what happens if you're stopped in a car with three or four people what will you say yeah you know we're not we're only supposed to have two people in the car unless you are family 
Um, and you're not supposed to be roaming around the country. You're supposed sure. to be at home unless you have a good reason not to be. I think we have a good reason not to be. If they stop us, we will tell them our reason and we are going to hope for the best. And there is a religious ritual exemption. So you can, you can. Yeah, I think obviously they meant, and they said this explicitly that it's weddings and funerals. Oh, no, 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 no. It said, it said such a, it says including, uh, yeah. uh, funerals and, and weddings. Yeah. Not so? only, yeah. We're hoping to that to that they'll uh, see that this as a religious exemption. Keith, go ahead. So I'm clear. So I'm clear. Uh, between the three of us, okay. So I'm quarantined 14 days. You're quarantined seven days. Nehemia is the puppet master. He's put this whole thing together. I'm really quite impressed with it. But um, so Devora, uh, just to be clear, I'm I'm not the puppet master regarding the Aviv. In fact, no, until no, 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 no. Nothing about the. I had no about, idea whether the Aviv search was going to take place you said that next week I'm, or I'm not. talking about the phone calls come. Let's get on this yeah. thing. Where I'm really impressed, Nehemia, and I, I think you you've, you've struck a, a really important chord. When you, I did not know why we were going to discuss this, but it makes complete sense to be discussing this right now with Devora because she is in the midst of decision, and the decision is what does she do. Seven before seven days from now, and that's what I'm hearing. She's saying, "We feel called uh, to do this, and we're going to do this." Period. That's right. That's right. So we, we ask for your prayers that we should have a safe journey. You know, we have a wonderful team, and every time we go out, we are putting ourselves at risk. We go on a road that they call Kvisha Adom, the Red Road, because of all the car accidents. Um, In we, English, they uh, call it Kassam Alley. Okay. Because a lot of the Kassam rockets are fired exactly in the area you're driving. Yeah, that's the other thing. So we have the, there's a lot of car accidents and there's a, and there's a lot of missiles, rockets that fall in these open fields that we go in. And this year we have an extra challenge of the, the coronavirus. But, you know, we face these challenges all the time and we're going to do it again next week. That is our plan. Well, thank you for doing it. You know, I did it for many years and you were involved and I uh, stepped aside and, and uh, it's been in safe hands. So, uh, you know, yeah. I thank you Hoba, for that. Hey, tell us a little bit about what's going on in Israel. I understand that you have yeah. some videos you want to share with us. We're yeah, going to experiment well, with this technology and see if it works. Yeah. So we're going to have a video inside of a video. We'll see what happens. I just want to say a couple more things first. First of all, about this new law where you can't go out. I'm really glad that we get to have this little video conference on Shabbat, because this is our first Shabbat here in Israel where we're not allowed to go out. And we are a very warm nation. We get together on Shabbat we, with family and friends, and especially pe people in my circle who are singles, you know, in this area, it's, it's a thing to get together on Shabbat. And now people are staying at home now for now 25 hours. Well, they're at home all the time, but usually they can use the internet and stuff. These are Orthodox rabbinic people who don't use the internet. And they are going to be home alone now for 25 hours. Something that oh, they, so they're locked down, not only not leaving done. the house, but without the internet. Yeah, wow. and uh, it's been nice seeing all the words of support going on on Facebook for all the friends saying, you know, just, you know, make yourself a nice meal, pour yourself a glass of wine, get into your pajamas, and get a book, and enjoy Shabbat, and it can actually be very nice. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be very interesting because people are not used to that. They're really used to that external um, uh, entertainment, or I don't know what the word is. Stimulus and to really be alone to really what really Shabbat I believe should be about is really about real rest And you can only really rest if you don't have it or any stimulus not just the internet not just the TV, but even people can be um, Well, that, that's spoken like a true introvert. I think extroverts yes. might disagree with yes. you But well, right, I, I want to tell you wait just a second Devora. I want to tell yeah. you um, I don't take this as a small thing and I, I literally didn't know how this was going to work but yeah. Nehemi, I want to thank you too, because now we're talking to someone who's in Israel right now. And what she said was so deep. This is the first Shabbat that she's experienced where she can't do what she's done. And that has to be painful. Uh, that has to be difficult. And, and I, I think people are, people are, um, are going to hear that and, and start understanding how serious Israel is about what they're doing. And I mean, they're, they're literally telling people, you, we don't want you, you can't stay where you're at so i mean it's wow that's yeah. that's uh that's and you know what it reminds it reminds me of it's about the whole torah it's about you you don't have total freedom you can't eat whatever you want you can't you know earn money whenever you want you can't have relations with whoever you want there are certain restrictions 
And I think in today's society, a lot of people, they don't want to be told what to do, not by their teacher, not by their parents, not by their prime minister, oh. their government. Oh. And this is a reminder that we do need restrictions in our lives. To Amen. Be healthy, Amen. Know? And so I think that this will hopefully bring people back to that, you know, and, uh, and, and realize that restrictions are not a bad thing. We don't have to negate it all the time, you know. It does, we're actually going to be freer and happier with a little bit of restriction. And well, so, the uh, image I have of, of our situation is we're like Noah shut in the ark, right? He mm. couldn't leave the ark. He was locked in. But, oh, yeah. you know, but if he went outside, he would drown. And that's actually right. an interesting analogy here because what people are dying of is, um, you know, the way they first understood that there was a new virus going around is people started showing up with viral pneumonia and there was no explanation for it over in Wuhan. Mm -hmm. And, and they realized, okay, this is spread by the virus. They traced it back to the bats at this exotic market. But when you have pneumonia, what you die from is you drown. Your lungs mm -hmm. fill with liquid and you drown. So we're like Noah shut in the ark trying to keep that water out. So, Devorah, uh, share the, you have a video to share with us. We're running out of time. Okay. Uh, I just want to lead up to it. And, and I don't know if you guys heard, but we started to do a, a lot of testing now here in Israel. That's really the key is to find people who are sick so that we can quarantine them and they don't spread it. And the Mossad has brought over 100,000 test kits. And the Mossad in English is comparable to the United States. So what, the CIA? The CIA, yeah, the Mossad. And uh, so it's kind of like, and so you got to ask yourself, why is the Mossad and why is like you know, the secret agency in Israel bringing over the test kits and not like the Ministry of Health or the government? And my understanding is that these are coming from countries that we don't officially have relations with. And I oh, just wow. find that very interesting. So they've brought over 100,000 test kits and we're wow. expecting to get a million more. And these might come from like Saudi Arabia or Yemen or someplace like that. Okay. Exactly. Isn't that interesting? Or Iraq. Um, yeah. And so today we have 705 people with the virus, which mm -hmm. is a lot considering our small country. We don't have any deaths yet, thank God. Mm -hmm. And four people have recovered. And mm -hmm. I want to share with you this video um, of this person, of the first person who recovered. He's just left the hospital and he's being interviewed. It is in Hebrew, but I think you'll understand it from, from his... Uh, um, Body language? And yes, it's not, I'll you. explain. How long is this clip? It's just 30 seconds. Okay, so I'll explain the... Tran I'll translate it. Uh, well, I after. suggest that let people listen to it. All right, and I'll translate afterwards. All right, let's go. We're doing okay. with this experimenting the technology. You've got to share a screen or something. Yeah, have I done that right? You have. Yeah. All right, hit full screen, hit play, and I'll be quiet. No, go back to the beginning. Oh, was it good? Okay. No, no, this is the part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the part. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. ברוך אתה אדון אלוהינו מלך העולם שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. מתנגד. וואו, איזה אושר. אושר, אושר עצום. Wow. Well, that spoke for itself. I don't need to translate that. He said, uh, you were right about that. He said, you know, your emotional, he said, it's intense happiness. He said, yeah. He says the Shema, and you can hear it in his voice that yeah. he's just so grateful to be alive that uh, it's, he was obviously very sick, and, uh, and he said, he thank God. He also says the Shehiyanu prayer, which is, blessed out the Lord, King of the viewers, uh, who has brought us and caused us to, uh, uh, and sustained us and caused us to live at this time. What, what, what is this? Is this another video? That, that's Gal Gadot. <laughs> Sorry, it started playing the next video. Okay, fine. Uh, All right, let's, let's play the next one here. Um, okay, and so um, I, I, I just want to say that, um, so yesterday at six o'clock, first of all, it's dead silent here. It feels like Yom Kippur. You know, if you've ever been in Israel, Yom Kippur, there, there's not a sound. It's, it's, um, it's very kind of eerie. Uh, it feels think of like America on Christmas Eve, where like even Walmart's closed, right? Yeah, so but for, for the people, because in, and in Yom Kippur, it's even more silent than that in Israel. And you're saying yeah. it's like that now. Wow. Yeah. And, and yesterday, all of a sudden, at 6 o'clock in the evening, I heard shouting going outside my apartment, you know, out from another apart from outside across 
you know, the next building. And I just figured, okay, people are, there's a fight that happens, especially when people are in tight quarters. Sure. Um, but then I learned later that there was actually a campaign that at six o'clock, everyone would go out their windows or out their balconies and clap their hands for all the medical workers. Wow. And that's what I was hearing. And if you see videos on that on Facebook, it's, it's really nice. And I just think that, you know, apropos that video we just saw of the man who was sick, really the medical staff here has been working, you know, nonstop to, uh, to um, get us better. And all we have to do is just stay home and sit on the couch. And we really shouldn't be complaining about that because. Well, so you know, so uh, Sharona, my sister, who's a professor at University of Washington in, in another clip, she shared about how if you stay six feet away from people, that you can actually, and don't touch surfaces, you can avoid the virus. Well, medical staff can't stay six feet away from people. If they're coming yeah. to your pulse, they've got to touch you. And yeah. you know, they've got gloves, sure, but still, it, it's, they're putting themselves on the front lines and they're, oh, really, yeah. they're the heroes in this situation. Yeah. So show yeah. us this clip of the people who are supporting the medical staff. Oh, I didn't. Is that what you were going to show us? or? If you give me uh, a minute, I can show it to you. What was the other clip can you I, were going to show us? Can I? Can you give me a minute to show it to you? No, what was the other clip you were going to show us? I want to show it to you. Out of time. What was the other clip you were going to show us? Time is running okay. out. We've passed All right. it. All right. You queued Hold up another second. video. What's the second video? I, oh, just a second. I'm just having, just let me share it. Hold I'll tell on. you guys, it's, it really is, it is interesting when you have something hardwired into your system like Shabbat, um, the fact that people can still. Okay. Is this it? What's, it? what's this, Deborah? Okay. I'm going to play it for 30 seconds, and then we can talk about it. No, no, tell us what it is for. Yeah. All right, all right. You've seen the um, the video from Italy of all yeah. the people on their balconies singing together. So this is our version. It's the song Shana Ba'a, oh, um, okay. so, which is a song of hope that we will soon be able to sit on our balconies mm -hmm. and see the children playing below, because right now they are stuck in their apartments. Oh, wow. Can so, you make it up? Put it on full, uh, full screen in the right. There. Yeah. Okay, so just to contextualize, this is an Israeli song about when people are hunkering down in the bunkers when they're firing rockets on us um, or under artillery fire uh, that, um, you know, we're stuck in the houses and it's a song from the past about sitting freely on our balconies. Most people in Israel live in apartments. It's in a country with, of apartments and, um, and so people have their their access, they don't have yards. So the access to fresh air is you sit outside on your balcony. All right, play it. That's it. Okay. Um, so, so it gives you an idea of, of what it's like to be under lockdown in Israel. All you can do is walk yeah. out onto your mirpesa, onto your, onto your balcony, and try to get some yeah. fresh air. And your kids yeah. can't go down and play in the yard. It's been lovely to see on Facebook. There are really people who are saying, you know, if anyone cannot leave their house, they're in quarantine, they're not feeling well. If they need something from the supermarket, if they need something from the pharmacy, you know, people are willing, you know, offering to help everybody out. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful thing that happens, you know, the, the country comes always, we are used to being attacked, usually by missiles, now it's by this virus, um, but we are, we're, we're, we're used to this in a way, and, uh, and so I hope that things wow. remain calm and we continue to help each other, and I wish everyone a refuash lima, a speedy recovery, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, thank you so much.